Face Set is now officially available in Blender 2.83 and today we're going to take a huge look at all of the things you need to know about this cute precious tool that now exists in Blender. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're taking a look at Blender 2.83 and the new face set feature that has now been made available with this tool. So this is quite interesting because the face set is more like what we call polygroup in ZBrush and it's really cool to see that it is now available. So directly here we have Blender open and we have Suzanne the monkey. And what we're going to do from here is just simply go over to the sculpting section, which I'm going to do by switching over here. And right now you now notice that we do have an extra brush here. Now the extra brush that we have directly there is the one which you can use to draw the face set. So the face set itself is like I said earlier is what you call polygroup. So if you want to actually give face sets to certain parts or if you want to give polygroups to certain parts, what you can do is simply go over to that particular section and then you can start drawing. So if you simply just draw, you get to see this and I'm also going to do the same thing and you can see we're drawing multiple face sets here. You can also hold down shift to smooth these things out. You see we have all of this, you know, jagged edges and what you probably call stray edges. If you're coming from ZBrush. So I'm also going to clean up this and actually draw and you can notice that we're having some very clean things going around here. At any point in time, you want to continue a particular face set. So for example, what we have here, let's say we want to let's simply go all the way back and start off with something very simple. So if I come through, let's also reduce our brush size and start painting this right about here. And you know, like from our previous example, which we just did right now, that once you start painting, you're getting something else. But if you want to continue with this, all you have to do is hit the control key and then you can proceed. Really cool, isn't it? Yeah. So you can proceed with this. And at this point, if you also want to hide any of these things that you've been working on, let's say you want to, you know, work more on this particular part. You don't want to get into the other section because that's the main reason why you're creating the poly group or the face sets in the first place. You can just simply hover around here and press H on your keyboard. And right now you have this and you can just simply go through and start doing some extra, you know, some extra duties here. You can start sculpting this, you can pick up the cloth brush and you can start adding some very interesting cloth details around here. So just in case you want to use this brush and you want to play with these things, this is the very first thing which you're going to encounter. And if you want to get these things back, what you need to do is just hover around there, press H on your keyboard and there you have it. I'm also going to go through and just simply hold down shift and smooth these bad boys out. And there you go beautiful so now that we have these things out of the way there is also a couple of other things that you still need to know so what we're going to do is just simply undo all of these things that we've done so i'm just going to smooth all of these bad boys out and do this like that okay so the next thing which we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at how you can go through and use the masking feature to create face sets, all right? So for you to create face sets by simply using the masking feature, right now, if we hold on control and shift, we can actually mask. And once you mask a certain part, you can go over to the face sets that you have here and just like we have in ZBrush where you can create polygroup from mask, we have the same thing here. So from here, I can choose to say face set from mask and I have that there. And if I simply press H right here and hold down Alt and H or simply go over to this section and press H right here, I can simply come over here and choose to create face sets from all the visible object that I have. So if I simply come here and hit face set from visible and I'll have a brand new visible stuff. Here. So I'm also going to go ahead and press H back here and you can see we have this clean good thing. All right. So next off, we need to also talk about how you can, you know, make some other stuff. So let's say you want to create a couple of face sets. Okay. I'm just going to go over to the mask and simply clear this. So let's say you want to make a couple of face sets for some reason. You just want to make all of the face. You don't want to get into the eyeballs. You don't want to, you know, tamper some parts. How you can do this is also extremely simple. So for this, you don't need to start drawing. I'm just going to go through and reduce my brush size for good measure. And I don't know if this is a bug, but every single time, you know, if I simply come over here and randomize this and hold down F, it doesn't show right now. So I'm just going to randomize this one more time. 
let's just create this all right so if i press down on f to re to increase or reduce the radius of my brush there's just a different overlay color that i don't know if this is a bug but you guys can see that there all right it just happens for some reason i don't know why all right so with that going on if you hold down shift and w you can simply start rolling your mouse around to create face sets for a whole object all right so i'm just going to do this one more time so just hold down shift and w and just move around and you'll be able to mask an entire object so once you do that and click you'll be able to get this and just like we talked about earlier so if you go through and start painting directly here if i switch over to the face set i'm creating new face sets but if i hold down control and click from here and start painting i can replace with the pre-existing face sets that we have all right so we can use this and get some cool stuff going but what if you want this for every part like right now we're trying to cover this but because our mouse actually stopped in the certain region we can't do all of that so if you want this for the entire object all you have to do is hold down shift and w click and drag and hold down control and click and you're going to have this for the entire object right now you can see we have that there and we can also go ahead and do the same thing for here hold down control and click and there you have it so you can create as much face sets as you want and you can simply travel through all of these things and have fun simply doing them and also if you hold down the w key you'll be able to see a hotkey menu or you know a pie menu that pops up and you can simply create your face sets from mask or you can simply create them from the visible stuff that is here so very cool and neat stuff coming over here so in case you want to make like multiple stuff you want to work on several things at the same time but you don't want to spend so much time trying to you know isolate some of them you don't want to spend too much time trying to mask things you can just simply use face sets like we had done in the previous example so you can use you know your face sets to create some very cool stuff like that and you can just simply proceed by simply working with these things directly here in your viewport so at the same time i think it's also worth it to talk about a couple of updates that has also made its way to the you know the mesh filter so the mesh filter was also introduced not so long ago but now we have a cute new update to the mesh filter update for the mesh filter is this that you can now use the mesh filter to do some sort of um auto masking okay so you can use it to do some auto masking directly by simply having your face set so right now we have about three different face sets right here so i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys two and three so we have three different face sets right here and if you go through and select the mesh filter you can select the filter type that you want so in case you want to inflate you want to scale you want to smooth you want to go through and relax and actually the smooth itself has also been updated so in case you're doing any of your sculpting things and you need the mesh filter to do that especially if you're done doing your voxel remeshing that has also been updated and improved so let's say for example we're going to do something more visible which has to do with inflate so if i simply select inflate and come over here and click and drag you can see we're inflating the entire object all right but if i choose to come through and select this and say use the face sets and i start increasing this you see only that part increases which means it seems to respect the entire poly group or the face set and does some automatic you know masking for us without you actually going through to mask the setting part that you want so we can just simply expand this as much as we want and then go through and use a very simple brush possibly a brush like this right now and actually smooth things out so we can just go ahead and smooth this thing out and we can actually do that by simply using the mesh and smooth things out and with that done we can also choose to make some very interesting modifications actually if you click here you can also play with the strength you can also do the same thing by changing all of these features that you have directly here and have something working perfectly fine for you so this is the face smooth and most of the things that you need to know about it and it's really cool to see that you know blender has actually evolved from that tool which just simply does simple sculpt to tools now that has features that you know master tools like like zbrush actually contains and a huge shout out to pablo for actually creating and working on this thing tirelessly you know and 
pushing all of the updates that we're getting for these two so that's going to be about it guys i would like to know what you guys think about all of these things in the comment section and of course if you like this video you learned something from it it's going to be amazing for you to go through and hit the like button and also don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be awesome if you hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace